Today's lesson is area of trapezoids, rhombi, kites, and circles. Trapezoid is a four-sided shape with two sides that are parallel and two sides that aren't. A rhombus, or a rhombi is the plural form of it, is a four-sided shape where all sides are congruent and they're all parallel. And then a kite has two sets of congruent sides and they are consecutive congruent sides. So this is congruent to this and this is congruent to this. And then obviously a circle. So I'm going to go through the formulas of all four and then we'll do a couple of examples of each. So a trapezoid is base one or the bottom base plus the top base, base two, divided by two times height. When you put this in a calculator, make sure you actually add those together first, figure out your answer, then divide by two. Because if you just plug it in like this, you may end up doing uh, base one plus and then base two divided by two, which we don't want that. We want it the sum, add them together, then divide by two. And then we have the rhombus and kite actually have the same formula. And that is diagonal 1 times diagonal 2, all divided by 2. And then our final one is circles. Our circle. Circles formula is pi times radius squared. So remember, radius is half of the distance of the circle. So let's start with our trapezoid. So for a trapezoid, you'll be given something like this. First thing you need to identify is which are the parallel sides, uh, the top and the bottom right here. Let's say this is 4 and this is 8. And then we need our height. So you'll usually be given that. And let's say that is, let's say that's 4 as well. Actually, let's make it 5, just to make it so that we have different numbers. So then. I figure out which one's base 1, we'll say this is base 1, this one's base 2, and this one is height. So I plug it into the formula. Base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. 5. So, like I was saying, if you just plug this into your calculator, you would end up with 8 plus 5. 2 because we do 4 divided by 2. We don't want that. We want to do 8 plus 4 is 12 divided by 2 times 5. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 5 equals 30. So that's what we do. We add those together, divide it by 2, and then multiply it by our height. So let me give you one to try on your own. So once I have finished writing it down, See if you can find out the area of this trapezoid. So see if you can find out the area of this trapezoid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down which one's base 1. Base 1 equals 10 base 2 equals 2, and the height is 7. Now it doesn't have to be the top and the bottom. It can be the left and the right, as long as it's the parallel sides. So I'm going to do 10 plus 2 divided by 2 times 7. 10 plus 2 is 6, or 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. So again, if you don't understand something, make sure you are either going to email me, send me a uh, comment on Google Classroom, or joining the Google Meets. So let's try a rhombus. So I'm going to write rhombus and kite up here. Uh, they would do them the exact same way. So we do diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. So here is my rhombus. 
Now, I could give you side lengths, but I don't need those. Those are not useless or useful to me. So there, it's a rhombus. Uh, and I have this diagonal is 27, we'll say. This diagonal is 17. 17, there we go. So I just need to take diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 and divide it by 2. So 17 times 27 divided by 2. Let me take out my calculator. Since I don't know that one off the top of my head, probably should have picked a number I could, could do. But it's okay. 27 times 17 is 459 divided by 2 is 229.5. So all I did is take the diagonal of each one and multiply them together. So let's try a kite of that same kind. I'll have you actually attempt it on your own. And then if you have questions, just watch the next part and I'll go over it. So just to make it look nice, we'll say those sides are all 2277. This diagonal, I'm going to go like this. This diagonal is 10. This diagonal is 3. See if you can figure out the answer. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where our diagonals are. Diagonal 1 is 10, diagonal 2 is 3, 10 times 3 divided by 2, 10 times 3 is 30 divided by 2, gives us an answer of 15. Now there are times that you may get that this part of the diagonal is a certain amount. You just have to add those together to get the full length of the diagonal sometimes. I don't think I'm going to give you any like that, but just in case you get in the future. And then circle, our last type. We have pi, which you can use as 3.14 times our radius squared. So here's our circle. I'm going to do one that is the diameter, and then I'll give you one where it's the radius. So if I give you that this is uh, 20. The di or diameter is 20. So what I need to do is I need to go, I know my diameter equals 20, I need my radius. Hopefully you remember from last chapter that to get my, or go from diameter to radius, I just divide by 2. So then I have pi times 10 squared. I'm going to use 3.14, so 3.14 times 10 squared is 100. 3.14 times 100 is 314. So the area of this circle is 314. Now, like I said, I'm going to give you another try at this. So here is another circle. And there is your radius. It is 4. So see if you can find out what the area of this circle is. We know our radius is 4 since it's half the distance, so I'm just going to do pi times 4 squared, or 3.14 times 16. I'm going to put that into a calculator. Uh, 3.14 times 16 is 50.24. There's my answer. Now, there is a practice. Uh, in Google Classroom for you to try out. I want you to try it out, see what you get for answers. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can go to Google Meets uh, every day from 10 to 11, or you could go to, or you could email me or put it in Google Classroom.